Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Paw Creations tutorial videos. Today I'm going to show you how I make my brick stitch earrings. I use size 11 beading needles. I use size D beading thread. And I use size 10 delicas with the fire colors. And we're going to use pink. We're going to start at the top that base roll and we're going to do the whole earring with one thread so we'll start with four inch tail and we'll start with two beads and we're going to go back through those two beads and then in order to make them lay one on top of the other. We'll go back through one. And that will start our top row to be a one needle ladder stitch. So they're sitting right next to each other now. And then we'll just continue on building on that. So we're going to go back in the opposite direction of where our thread's coming out and then set that on top of the next one and go back through that bead to secure it and then we'll just continue that process until we have six beads on that will start our top row of the earring and we're gonna ascend we're gonna start uh, increasing the beads or the top part of the earring so we're gonna start with two beads that we'll start adding on to the first brick stitch so it's like putting two beads in that one spot and then we'll go back through one and that sets that pink bead on the outside and then we'll just continue on brick stitching all the way across to the other end following the design of the earring then, because we added those two beads in the beginning, that creates that pink bead to set out and be an increase. When we get across brick stitch all the way to the other end, we're going to get to the end, but we're going to need to add a bead on the end to create that increase. So we're just going to put a bead on and then go back through our last bead that's on the row and that creates that increase on the other side so we're just going to continue that all the way so we just turn it over and where our needle is is where we'll start and then we'll put two beads on To create that increase on the next row so we'll go through and have those two beads and have that pink bead sit out on the end and the pink bead is set out and will be an increase and go all the way to the other end Big stitch and then at the end we're going to put an extra pink bead on and go back up to that last bead and that creates the increase on the other side and it will increase all the way and we'll just keep increasing that following that design 
and once we get our halfway mark we get the halfway mark then we'll start decreasing to finish off that main part so to decrease you just get to start bringing that and just do your brick stitch not gonna add on an extra bead you're just gonna go one where you're at right where it's at and that will just create the decrease as a natural brick stitch does and they'll just keep decreasing until you finish off the pattern on the other side and then once you get to the end of that design and you have your main piece and then we're going to do the fringe and the feather all together so you just put that fringe around goes around that way and we're just going to go back up through the base and come back down through the next bead and we're going to put on eight beads to make a little loop in the middle just so that we don't have that empty space in there it just looks better and then we're going to go back down through our fringe part and then bead all the way through those beads until we get down to the white bead the fringe we put a the fire colors and the same order they are in the design and then we got a, pin, a white bead right in the center and that's the beginning of our feather so we'll go back down through till we get to that white bead and then we'll start our feather and our feather design is just to increase and decrease of the pattern We'll start with two beads and go back through that white bead and up through one of those two beads and that will start our base for our feather and now we're going to increase to three beads which means we'll put on two beads and go right through that center loop there and start that increase so two and brick stitch right that that right into the two beads that are there and finish off our increase by adding one and going through that middle bead there so that increases us to three beads and then we will increase to four so we add two beads on the beginning of the row to increase So we're going to go right in where we we're at with those two beads and then continue on our brick stitch just like we did before and we'll increase at the other end to make four and now the pattern will increase to five and decrease to four throughout the rest of the feather so we're at four now so we're going to increase 
will increase to five with that pink in the middle. So you put the two on the end and one on the other end. That's the increase and decrease with those colors until the end of the feather. So you'll start where you're at and your next year will be four. Which will be um let's take a row of that color. And then you'll decrease to four again. And that's adding in starting your black on the tip of the feather. Well, that was a five, I'm sorry. And now you're going to decrease to the four. So it's just an increase to five and a decrease to four for that feather pattern. That just continues to the end of the feather design. Now you're going to increase that black and put our pink dots in. And then we're going to, when we get finished with increasing and decreasing, then we'll um, Increase to five. I'm going to put our second pink dot and then we're going to decrease to the tip of the feather. So we'll put decrease to four and then and then three and then two. When we get to two, we'll put one bead on. That makes the tip of our feather and we're going to go back up through instead of brick stitching. We're just going to weave all the way back up through that feather. I'm going zigzag. So you can't see the thread. You're just going to zigzag back and forth up through that feather. All the way back up to where our fringe is. And then you're going to check and see which side of that uh, loop is the side that we need to go back up because we came down one side, so now we're going to go back up the other side, and then we're just going to weave our thread all the way back out to the corner, and then we're not going to have a knot, we just weave it back through, and then we're finished, and we just snip that off right there, and then our tail that we had on the top, we will put our needle back on and this is what we're going to do to use to make our loop for the earring wire. We're going to move that back through and then we're going to come up through the middle so that we're coming, we're doing the loop in the middle to pink beads and we're going to put our earring wire on and go back through that third bead and then we're just going to weave our needle back through and that D thread is pretty thick so it'll hold after you work that back through the weave you can snip that off and it's nylon thread so you're just going to take a lighter to it and it'll melt it right into the Earring, so there will be no knots, and there is your brick stitch earring. And so, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video on brick stitch earrings. You can come by and join our Facebook group. Please answer all three questions, or you'll not be accepted. But you'll have the pattern on there. And you can visit my website at www.quinwapacreations.com. See you next time. Bye.